It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. In 2022, Peloton, once a pandemic-era success story, found itself in a downward spiral. I mean, there were layoffs. Executives were leaving out. The stock had even went so far below the IPO that it really painted a grim picture. The connected fitness giant's challenges, like, really, it was its fading popularity of the at-home fitness and some things that the company just didn't do right. Now, let's start back. Let's rewind. Peloton's journey wasn't always smooth. In the early days, the founder, John Foley, faced rejection from 400, I didn't say 100, 400 potential investors. So picture this, a janky rusted bank in a makeshift studio, a far cry from the high-end experience that they really wanted folks to have inside of a studio, but yet they were able to scrape together the funding they needed to launch Peloton. You may even have a Peloton in your home. <laughs> but as Peloton faced the challenge in 2023, it had to rethink its sales strategy. Or it was going to go out of business. The solution expanding beyond the at-home fitness studio into the business markets. And doesn't this draw parallels to a sales strategy, sales leadership? Peloton started partnering with businesses, offering discounts on its equipment, and really offering it as a solution for, for healthy individuals inside the workplace, and it became a huge benefit. So what's my big takeaway to you as a CEO? Number one, the importance of a sales strategy. Number two, the importance of sales leadership. Understand that there will be changes. You may have to move into new markets. And in a competitive market, it's not about really dealing with pricing. It's not about dealing with, what do we say differently? It's really about solving a problem for your ideal client. And that client for Peloton became businesses. And as a result, they're still in business today and doing really, really well as of this recording. So it's not about making sales. It's about resilience, staying profitable, and impacting lives. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. I'm super excited you're here. Thanks for letting me be your host for today's CEO Sales Huddle. We like to start off every single morning as we always do, which is if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And when you don't have sales coming in, you always have more money coming in or going out than you have coming in when you don't have sales. So we recognize that sales at the end of the day is really serious business. Our pledge that we do every single morning is three things. You must learn, earn, and return. Go ahead and I want you to repeat after me because I think it's just that important. We do it every single morning. But repeat after me. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from current clients in order to get new and old clients to return. So as a CEO, I'm always learning. I'm always earning. And I'm always what? Returning. Now, you have a pledge. I'm sure you do every single day for yourself. But that's so important to us. And then second. It's why do we get together? We get together every single day for at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for really three reasons. Number one, sales progress or sales. Yeah, sales progress. That's our that's our number one reason. Our number two reason is to handle any roadblocks. Peloton, they had some success, but there's always roadblocks. And in life, a series of high highs and low lows and twists and turns and ups and downs. So we got to address the roadblocks. And then number three is to understand the five sales pillars that every CEO must know and understand in order to grow and be profitable. Number one, sales planning. So we offer the one pay CEO sales plan because it's not about just the, and here's how much money I have to make or here's how much revenue I need in the business. Heck, my seven-year-old niece, can, Lauren, could do that. Well, not seven anymore, but that's, that's, that's important. So if you haven't done your one pay CEO sales plan, hit over to www.ceosalesplan.com, www.ceosalesplan.com, download it, Okay. We'll give you step-by-step step what to do. Number two is sales journey. So what is the sales cycle that our clients are going on from the time that we connect to the time we're communicating to the time they're ready to make a buying decision? And then number three is our sales language or our sales messaging, as we call it. Pillar number three is sales messaging. And then pillar number four is sales indicators. We're going to get into that when we get into the CEO sales dashboard because what gets measured gets managed. And number five 
is the sales team. Sales team is the one that helps generate more revenue every single day. And I love that. So for those folks that are tuning in and you tune in every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, man, we're really glad you're here. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being in the conversation. Here's what I like for you to do because I love to connect. That's, I always spend about a minute just connecting because as CEOs, sometimes we're in silos. Yes, we may run a business. Yes, you may run an organization. Maybe you run a sales team. You're, C you're still a CEO. Maybe you're a supervisor. You're still a CEO. And, and so do me a favor. Look right below the video if you're watching live and you're able to see this broadcast on social media. Go ahead and put hashtag I'm here. That's just a quick check-in for you and I. You can see me, but I can't see you, so I would love to connect with you. Or if you're watching the replay, congratulations. You're still in the conversation. You did it. So go ahead and put hashtag replay. Hashtag replay. Doesn't that just feel good? Like, like it's, it's a way for us to come together as this virtual community that we are. And all the folks who are joining for the very first time, and this is your first time here, welcome. CEO Sales Huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. So we recognize you're already a bad mamma jamma. We understand that you're really good at what you do, but we also understand that, you know what, whatever I'm doing today, I recognize that success is a team sport, so I want to do it faster. And that's the purpose of us being here today. We have really three big whys. Our first big why, and they're connected, is really sales growth. So as a CEO, our number one responsibility is to grow the business. We only grow the business when we attract clients, okay? That's the only way to grow the business, and that's our number one function. Number two, you're here for the CEO sales huddle because we want accountability. You may have heard this before. We'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. Isn't that so true? And then number three is consistency. You may have heard this before. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do people struggle with most? They struggle with consistency. And so that's not you. You're now in the conversation, so congratulations. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. This is why we show up every single day. Now, for those folks that want to know, and you're here for your first time, we only ask for 14, 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day represents 1% of your day as a CEO. So I want you to imagine for a moment, you get to step back, look at the sales organization. You focus on it. 15 minutes every morning, 8 a.m. You're watching the replay. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in. You're still here. And in that 15 minutes, we focus on the most important part, I believe, of the entire company because selling is the oxygen for every great business in history. Period. Our number one outcome is $100,000 a month of consistent predictable, reliable revenue, $100,000. Now, for some of you, that don't get you excited. For others, you're like, yo, count me in for that one, Shay. I'm all in. Cool. I'm glad you're here. And now we're going to go into our segment that I really love, which is our CEO sales dashboard. You see, there was a problem in the market. CEOs were like, Shay, where do I go where I can get everything I need to really focus on the sales organization? And for many years, it didn't exist. I would say, okay, you should go over to your CRM, go to Infusionsoft, go to Kajabi, and go high level one around back then, um, but go to Active Campaign, wherever you go. But yet, it was, it was so confusing. So we created something called the CEO Sales Dashboard that says there's only five indicators that you need to measure inside of the sales organization to understand the sales progress, understand the sales growth, and understand the trajectory of where it is. And those five are leads, appointments, offers, deals, repeat business. So I'm gonna encourage you now to open up your CEO sales dashboard right now. Now, if you haven't downloaded it, hit over to CEO sales dashboard right now. I'm sorry, CEO sales huddle.com, CEO sales huddle.com. And once you do download it, now you're gonna see on the right hand side coming down the rows are different categories. And then going across the top is where we plug in the numbers. Now, we first describe to the school of thought that what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. And I don't have to really explain to you the concept. I know you get it intellectually. But I don't want you just to be intellectually stimulated right now. I really want you to open this up and take a look at where we are right now. So we're hitting, depending on when you're watching this, but some of you are hitting almost into the middle of the month. So when you go to yesterday's results and you look at leads and you say, here's how many leads came into my CRM, you can also track back the last 30 days and the last 60 days and you can see the trend. Now, you see there's subcategories there. I got it. But every morning we go deep. We're at the 9 minute and 47 second mark, which is doing good. Every morning we go deep in just one area. Now, 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 download this. Let me pull it up now. And we're going to go deep 
in just one area this morning. An area I want to go, we're going to go deep in is repeat business. So earlier, you can go back and watch, and we, we talk about leads and appointments and offers and deals. They're all important. But today, I just want you to focus on just this one box. Now, if your CEO dashboard is not complete, fill it out now. Like, as a CEO, in this, I don't know, 15 minutes we have together, which is 1% of your day, if you don't have an assistant to do it, then you get it done. If you haven't hired a VA to do it, then, then please get it done. If, if you don't have a business operations person do it, please get it done. If anyone works for you, I don't care if they're a contractor or 1099, have them fill this out. This, this should be their number one responsibility so that when you show up like you are now, you just go over and look at, okay, I'm looking at repeat business. And yesterday, here's how many clients bought new products. So a new product could have come from an existing client a new product could have come, someone bought a new product could have come from a brand new client. So for example, if I have the iPhone, which I have here, and I decide I'm going to go into the Apple and I purchase a MacBook Pro, that's a new product. Okay, but you know, they may have a category and you can change it on the spreadsheet that says existing customer and I bought a new product. Really cool, by the way. Um, and the reason we love that, because we, we do understand, and I know it's, it's going to sound overly used, but most of the money we spend as CEOs is attracting new business. So we get revenue that doesn't grow the business, but we can get revenue that comes in from existing clients. That's really good stuff, right? We, we save about 80% of the cost. So we want to track that. We also want to track two categories, new client versus existing client. Then there's a category underneath that we have called existing product. Now, the existing product is really, uh, Jay Brown has an iPhone and he goes and gets a, a case for it. Okay, that's, that could be a new product. Or I go get a screen protector on top of it. <laughs> Depending on when you watch this, they might even have screen protectors anymore. Um, but that's an existing product. And you might call it upsell. You might call it add-on. It, it doesn't really matter. But I want you to track that. Now, I did see a spreadsheet. Someone sent me and they, they have existing product and then they have their top three products that they're tracking. They're not tracking all of them, but the top three revenue streams are underneath there. Cool. You can go adjust the spreadsheet to fit where you are, which I would recommend, by the way. Highly, highly recommend. And then the last one that doesn't apply to all of you, but some of you it does. Some of you have membership-driven organizations. So there's a subscription and you offer a service that provides value month after month after month. And that's membership revenue. And in your industry, maybe you recognize that one-time payments make you one-time rich, but consistent payments make you wealthy. And so you're subscribing to that school of thought and to that philosophy. So we're tracking how many new members went into our membership program, how many folks have continued to stay on the trend line. Then there's something called churn, which is how many folks decide, hey, this isn't for me, which is okay, don't take it personal, and they moved on. All right, I know we're at the 13-minute mark, but I wanted to share that with you because you subscribe and we understand that what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. So I focus heavily every single day on the CEO sales dashboard because to me, this is the number one tool that's going to allow you to understand exactly where you are, the health of the business, the health of the revenue, and the monies that you need to come in as a business so you can purchase the resources to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. Now, this segment, we're going to get to a very important part, which is celebrate wins. And sometimes we have a way of beating ourselves up. I'm consistent of doing that. I, I try to focus on, on not and saying, hey, here's what worked and here's what didn't. But if, if you're competitive, um, every now and then that, that, that spunk comes out inside you, right? It just does. So let's take a look if we can and let's ask ourselves some questions. I believe that powerful people ask powerful questions because questions, they're focused. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Number one, we're going to celebrate some wins today. Let's, let's go celebrate some wins. What are you most proud of? Now, I want you to really think about this in your mind. From the sales organization, what are you most proud of? And then step back and say, what was your biggest accomplishment yesterday for the sales organization? And we do this every single morning. And sometimes there's baby steps, like there's steps to take place. And then what do you want to brag about? You can go back and look at the last yesterday, look at the last five days, maybe last 30 days in the sales organization. What do you really want to brag about? And then we also understand that life's not perfect. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of the roadblocks we have, some of the some of the challenges that are out there facing us. What is your biggest challenge or your biggest roadblock that's facing you today? Powerful people ask powerful questions because questions they're focused 
And in this life, you get what you focus on. What's preventing you today from moving forward? And this, what's the one thing that you could do that if you did it, it would move your life and or business forward? And that's what your focus is going to be. Now, we're at the 15-minute mark. I get it. We're going to close out with the message of the day. And the message of the day is success is a team sport. You can only get so far by yourself. So your sales organization, and some of you, you are the number one salesperson. Some of you have a sales team. Some of you really have a sales organization. Some of you are wearing a sales hat. You're wearing a chief marketing hat. You're wearing a chief technology hat. You're wearing a chief admin hat. You're wearing the, the chief um, a te- a marketing hat, the chief branding hat. You're, you're, you're all inclusive. I get that. But I'm going to ask you on this segment, you step out of all the other hats you have in the business. You say, I now have my sales organization hat on and I need a team. And that team could be automated. The team could be us. I mean, we're looking every single morning. When you show up, I'm on your team. You're, you're, you're here. If you haven't checked in with me, let me know you're here because I'm on your team. I'm, I'm right here. These, these ideas is part of your team. When these ideas are top of mind to you, you're just more likely to execute. One of the top distinctions I like to teach is you stay in the conversation. And when you're in the conversation with your team, the ideas are top of mind to you. And sometimes you might show up and it seems like it's no big deal. And you might show up sometimes, you plug the numbers in your spreadsheet, no big deal. And then, boom, one day you plug it in and you look back and you've made these incremental changes along the way. And there is the curve effect that takes place to you. But it's all about being on the team. I, I know you know that intellectually. I, I know you get it. I, I want to be part of your DNA and I want it to be part of your focus because you get what you focus on. So with that being said, look right below the video and put hashtag I'm here. If you haven't done that, let me know you're here. Let's, let's I'm connect. You can see me, but I can't see you. Or put hashtag replay, okay? Put hashtag replay. If you're on the, the Roku channel or you're on Apple TV right now or Amazon and you're watching or you download the podcast and you're listening to us in your ears right now, do me a favor. Head over to at I am Jay Brown. You can do it on Instagram, but I, at I am Jay Brown. Just drop me a note. Just let me know you're here and let me know how we can best serve you if any changes we need to make in order to get you to see what you need. With that being said, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for letting me be a part of your morning. Um, you're amazing, I believe. I know you're already awesome. You're incredible or you wouldn't be here. Only champions show up for this. Only winners are listening right now. And I believe for you as you're watching, I believe your best is still yet to come. They ain't seen it yet. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. With that being said, my name is Che Brown. It's been an honor to serve you as the host of the CEO Sales Huddle. I'll see you on the other side. Keep doing God's work. Peace.